And let's move on to another caller. Hi, you're on WIBC with Gordon Smiley. Yes, sir, Gordon. Yes, sir. Uh, I'd like to know. You know, every driver, every driver's characteristics are different. I'd like to know. Uh, I know Mario when he's driving. I've noticed that when he goes into turn one, uh, right before he goes to turn left off of the straight, he seems to pull up towards the wall. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if you do that, but uh, I'd like to know why he does that or if you do it and uh, what, what's the purpose of that. Well, um, gosh, I, I hate throwing this out over the radio because maybe some of the other guys don't know <laughs> about this, but um, I was talking to one of the other guys uh, here yesterday about that, and, and uh, I kind of laid it on him, and I, I noticed it a couple years ago when I first came here, and I asked some of the people. In fact, Sonny Myers, who builds the engines for uh, Pat Patrick's team, uh, told me about it. it what, what basically you do is, is when you come down the straightaway, just before you turn left into the, the two fast corners, into one and into three, <clears throat> you turn the car right toward the fence and what it does is it loads up the outside of the chassis uh, it actually transfers some weight into the front of the chassis so that when you do make the left hand turn down into the corner the front of the car is loaded real well and it won't push it's a little bit of a, a tweak it's it's like having a weight jacker in the car where you could j jack some weight right up to the front as you turn the car into the corner um, you've got to know where that spot on the track is to do that but uh, when I start running quick out here I always do that it, it, it definitely helps I think Back here uh, with talk from Gasoline Alley and Gordon Smiley is our guest, SCCA champion, Aurora Formula One champion, two Indies. This will be his third uh, in 1980. Started 20th, finished 25th in 81, started 8th with a qualifying speed of 192, 988. Led one lap and crashed after 141, finished 22nd. And uh, Gordon, 192.988 last year, and you're up to 196 now. And it seems like the entire field is... is the speed it just climbs every year now for some reason and uh, better aerodynamics I guess with the car uh, increased horsepower what what has been the difference between the two years apparently there's a there's a big combination of both Kev uh, I, I don't know whether uh, everybody thinks they're, they're guarding a lot of secrets I, I get the feeling right now so I don't know for sure what everything is by any means but uh, I'd be real worried about 192.9 this year making the field Last year it was great, you know, it's yeah. different time. I was in real comfortably. Isn't that an amazing step in one year? It really is. Uh, how do you adjust to it? <laughs> well, it isn't really hard. I'll tell you, that I, I found now as our speeds are starting to escalate, uh, the car becomes more comfortable the faster you go with it. These cars are designed to go fast, and uh, when they're not being driven fast or they're not set up right, then they're uncomfortable. So as the car gets going faster, it's easier to drive, basically. So that's real encouraging to me. Oh you going faster boy. make my job easier. <laughs> I was just wondering if there's uh, any type of uh, psych job you have to do to yourself when you when you go a little bit faster. Like well, the only thing that I've found here, and, and again, this is from my lack of experience. I'm sure it isn't this way for, for all the vets. Uh, in order to drive the car flat on the floor all the way around, there is some type of psychological barrier that you need to get through. Once you have driven all four corners on one lap flat on the floor, it just clicks and, and you think, well, there's no reason to lift off the gas pedal. I know I don't have to. I know if I do, it'll slow me down. So once you get the car so you can drive it flat on the floor all the way around, then you just keep making it go faster and faster by adjustments and the speed comes. Do you find, uh, is it rough in the corners? Not really. There's a bump in, in uh, between one and two and in between three and four, and you just compensate for them. You have to do some setup of the car to accommodate yeah. them, but it's, it's, it's bumpy coming out of the pits. Does the wind bump at the car at all? A little. It depends yeah. on how, ra how fast the wind is blowing between the grandstands. Yeah. That leads right into another question I wanted to ask you, if, if I may, caller. Uh, mental preparation for qualifications, your third year. Will this year's uh, preparation vary, say, from your rookie year here in 80? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I, so. I now realize, I think the first two years I was real calm. I went out and I did what I felt was a competent job. I, I know I could have gone faster both years, uh, but I got the car in the show. That's all my bosses told me they wanted me to do, and that's all I did. But that's not the case this year. And I've watched Tom Sneva do his qualifying thing. He's an amazing stand on the gas in qualifying this year. And uh, it produces results. I got to try it at Atlanta. I went four miles an hour faster in qualifying than I'd gone in two days. And I know you can do it. You can screw yourself up for it and really get it on. And I'm going to do that this year. Mario was talking about being pumped up. He says you just get as puffy as you can. And you can feel it when you're in the groove and when you're really clicking and turning it on. Is it the same way with you when you're in the cockpit? I think so. I'm getting more that way. And I think the experience I'm gaining and uh, the abilities that that's producing for me is, is helping me be able to do that. 
uh, yeah, you can definitely feel it. You go out and say, hey, this is it. Uh, all my guys have worked all month long to get me in this position. If I let them down, I'm letting them down. I'm letting myself down. And I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go out and stand on the gas. I'm going to put it on the floor and drive that sucker around as hard as I can. Right, let's see if I can think of a word. How's miserable? Grab you. It's terrible. We just had a terrible day today. We couldn't get the car to start for four hours and uh, just had a real bad day. It was one of those days you just soon forget. Does this place any more extra importance on the qualifying in the, or the practice session in the morning before qualifying? I'll tell you, that, qual that session in the morning is so dangerous and so congested and people are hanging it out that it's, you're foolish to try and go out and go fast. We're going to do the best we can and that's really all we can do at this point. It's a shame. We've, we've really had a big problem.